Hey guys, welcome back. And today we are going to create this X in Maya. This is another game prop modeling tutorial. So let's start with this handle. So take a cube, place it here, go to wireframe mode and scale it down like this. Now go to vertex mode and select all these vertices on the top and place them up here. Now select these vertices and put them in this corner. Select these ones and pull them down. Put this one here and this one on this corner. Now press shift right click and go to this connect tool. Select these edges and add 10 segments. Now in the vertex mode, select these vertices and place them like this. Scale them. Now add one edge here. So go to edge mode and select this edge then add a split. Go to vertex mode, select these vertices and scale them. Like this. So we have blocked this handle. Now go to perspective mode and go to edge mode now select these edges and bevel increase the fraction and segment now scale it down like this go to front view and again go to vertex mode select these vertices and pull them down and adjust these vertices like this Now go to edge mode again and in the front view select all these edges. Now go to mesh display and select the soften edge. Now let's create this X. So go to front view. And let's hide this handle for now. And select this create polygon tool. And create some points here. Now 
Now go to face mode, select this face and go to face normals and then reverse normal. Center pivot. Go to front view again and go to vertex mode. Adjust these vertices. Now select these two vertex and press shift right click and you will see this connect component. This will connect these two vertices. Now do the same for these ones. Connect them. Bring back your handle and go to top view. Select this plane and go to deform and click on this lattice. Now go to attribute editor and in the lattice shape, change the T division to 2. Now select lattice point and pull them out like this. Now select this plane and go to edit delete by type history. Now we have these vertices here so select them and take this multi cut tool. Select this vertex and connect here connect this one as well select this one and connect it here and also this one Now go to top view and press D and V and snap this pivot here. Then create a duplicate, go to your channel box and in the scale Z add minus 1. Now select both these planes and combine them. Go to vertex mode and in the front view select all these vertices on the front and merge them. Now go to edge mode and select this edge, bevel it, decrease the fraction and increase one segment. Now select these edges and bridge, also these edges. Now go to edge mode and select these edges, press ctrl E then R to extrude like this, go to top view and in the edge mode select this edge then add a split and bevel it with one segment. Do the same for this side. Now go to vertex mode and select these vertices, push them back and put this one here like this and this one here.
now go to front view and go to edge mode select this edge and scale it like this go to face mode and delete half of these faces now select this component and create a duplicate and in the y axis add minus 1 pull it up like this and select both of them then combine now go to vertex mode select this vertex and select this target weld tool weld it now go to front view and select all these vertices and merge them now you see these vertices and bring them closer to this handle let's fill this gap here and for that what you can do is just select this handle and select this insert edge loop tool and create an edge here like this select the vertex and pull them up to align with this X now you can select the vertex and snap to this edge here So we have connected all these vertices now let's select this handle isolate it and delete this edge we just added now isolate this X and go to edge mode select these edges press ctrl E and add some negative thickness to include it and also select these edges and bridge them now we need to add one edge here so go to edge mode and split it then go to vertex mode and merge to center bring back your handle now select this edge and this one and scale it down like this and also this one
select these vertices and again scale them just a little bit now go to front view and isolate this X and hide this handle let's select these vertices and place them down here on this corner and these ones here Now we need to add one more edge here. So go to edge mode, select this edge, then edging utility and split. And let's make this curve here. To remove these hard edges, just go to edge mode and front view select all these edges here and go to mesh display and select this soft edge you can also go to vertex mode and select these vertices here and pull them out a little bit also select these edges and mesh display soften edge we need to add one more edge here so just select it and then split go to front view and let's adjust this curve Now we have to close these gaps but first go to edge mode and select these edges and scale them down a little bit to make this front a little bit sharp now select these edges and uh, use this fill hole Now select your handle and isolate it then go to vertex mode and take this multi cut tool and connect these vertices or you can just go to vertex mode and select these vertices then choose this connect component Now go to edge mode and select these edges. And bevel. With one segment. Now our X model is completed. Let's unwrap this. So go to UV editor and isolate this X. Then go to create and select this camera based and go to edge mode 
select these edges. Now go to your UV editor and cut. Now select all these shells and unfold. Now you can add them in a layout. Rotate them like this. Let's connect these edges and move and sew. Now select all of them and add them in a layout. Let's rotate these ones like this. So our X is unwrapped. Let's unwrap our handle. Select this and isolate it. Then go to create and select this camera based. Now go to edge mode and select these edges. And to cut add one here. Now add cut in UV editor, then select the shells and unfold. Attach this edge and unfold. Rotate it. So our X is completed. To get rid of these hard edges, go to edge mode and select these edges to edge ring and go to mesh display then soften edge. Do the same for these edges. Soften edge. Now select this and assign a new material. Go to edit and delete by type history. This is X and this is going to be metal. Select this one and assign a new material. Delete by type history. This is handle and this is going to be wood.
now select these edges and mesh display then soften edge and select these edges and bevel increase one segment decrease the fraction So our X modeling and unwrapping is completed. In the next video, we are going to export this in Substance Painter and texture it. So that's it for today. And I hope you liked today's tutorial. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.